So from time to time on certain videos on my channel, uh, some people ask me about artwork scraping. Uh, for example, they want particular artwork for a particular game of a particular region. So for this reason, I'm going to be showing you how to use and set up Scraper today. So as we can see here, Scraper is actually a part of Screen Scraper, which is in Retrobat. And this is what I'm going to dedicate this setup guide today for, is actually using this for Retrobat. So of course in Retrobat we do have Screen Scraper, but like I say, on occasions there is sometimes that some people out there want artwork very specific. And you can also use Scraper on other systems such as portables, which perhaps don't have the ability to actually scrape artwork. And some of these portables are still around. So in essence, Scraper is multi-purpose. And this is also going to help you see what it is you're actually going to be downloading. So if you go into Retrobat and you're wanting to scrape things, under scraping settings, you're often going into this in the unknown. You're not sure what it is you're actually downloading. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you where to get a scraper from, how to sign up with Screen Scraper in order to get the very best out of Scraper itself. So check this one out. So as I always say, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel and hit notifications and also like, make sure you do that by the end of the video if you like what you see today. So let's get on with Scraper. Link's going to be in my description for this one as always. So we're going to head over to the Scraper website and just take a little look through here. It's going to give you a bit of information what Scraper is and what it can do. So it's pretty much customizing how you download your artwork for your games and it's run by Screen Scraper in the background, that type of thing. So what we're going to do is just head over to the download tab at the top. And this is also available for Mac and Linux, as we can see. And as of now, Scraper is on 1.1.1. So I'm going to be downloading this for Windows. And I'm going to just download for Windows. So once we've got our download, just open this one up and it downloads into a RAR file. In my case, you might download it in a 7-zip or WinZip archive. So what we're going to do is on desktop, I'm going to right click, just go to New and Folder. And I'm going to call this Scraper. You can call this whatever you want. Now, I'm going to highlight everything in this WinRAR archive and just drag everything into this scraper folder I've just created. And that's that. So we can now close this one down. And let's go into scraper. Now, the one we're looking for is the application at the bottom, scraper UI. So if you double left click on this one, so this part is entirely optional. Like I just said, this is based on Screen Scraper. So you're going to need to head over to Screen Scraper and make an account, which is very easy. So this is Screen Scraper, and this is where you need to head to register and make an account in order to use Scraper. You can use a free version of Scraper, but it's limited. And to be honest, because Screen Scraper is free, you're just better off signing up. So just go to register. You can just go down to the bottom and come up with a username, a password, and also an email. And what will happen is they'll send you a confirmation email, and then that's it. You've got your user ID and you've got your passwords. And from there, we can then sign in to use Scraper and use all its features. So I'm going to just type in my details. And just press validate once you've done that. And then you'll get Scrape Engines enabled. And then we're just going to go to Next. Now, as it says on the window just here, this is going to take a considerable amount of time, depending on the number of threads you've got. So just be very patient with this. And it could last up to an hour in some cases, if not longer. But it's going to be worth it in the end. So just leave this running and get on with something else on your computer. Just leave this doing what it's doing.
Okay, so the next part of this installation process is going to be this screen. And because I'm doing this for RetroBat, I'm not doing RetroPipe, Recall Box, or Launch Box. I'm going to do generic emulation is RetroBat isn't here. So I'll click on there and I'll press Next. And the next part of this is simply hooking this up with where your ROMs are located or where Scraper is going to find your games for it to scrape artwork. So for this reason, I've created a new folder on my desktop with a couple of systems inside of it. And I've made new folders for these, which are Amiga and also SNES. Now, I'm not putting this directly into my RetroBat ROMs folder because I want to show you how to move your images around through to RetroBat. So all I'm going to do is link this one up to my ROMs folder on my desktop by pressing on the folder here, desktop and ROMs. And if I press OK, and I'm also going to be checking inspect subfolders and I'm going to press next and next again. And here we go. So we've got both of our systems listed here in the Scraper graphical user interface. And I'm going to press play. And scraping all systems may take a long while. Continue. OK. And of course, this process can take a lot longer if you've got a lot of games. So just be patient on this part. Okay, so after the awesome Final Fantasy VII end of battle music when you've won, just press on the tick just there. And if I go back into my ROMs folder, into Amiga, we've now got a media folder up here. And inside images is all the artwork that we just got from Scraper. And what I'm going to do is come out of here. And if I go into my SNES folder, we're going to see the same media images and here's the artwork that uh, Scraper has downloaded. So what we're going to do next is actually head into RetroBat because we need to set an option which is going to allow it to detect our images that we're manually going to put inside of its folder. So enter RetroBat. <laughs> Okay, so inside of RetroBat, we're going to go to Main Menu, and if we go down to System Settings, right at the bottom, we got Front End Developer Options, and under here, we're going to go down to Search for Local Art, and by default, this one's going to be off. You need to make sure this one is on. So let's just back out of RetroBat again, and Main Menu, and quit. So what we're going to do then is if we go into the RetroBat directory, so right click on the RetroBat shortcut, open file location. Now your images are stored in your ROMs directory. So first of all, I'm going to start with Amiga. So what I'm going to do is just copy my Amiga games into my RetroBat ROMs directory. And if I go into the media folder, I'm also going to take out images and also drag this into the ROMs Amiga directory in RetroBat. And if I come out of here, I'm also going to be doing the same for the Super Nintendo. So just drag this over a bit. And if we just go down to find SNES. So again, for SNES, I'm going to drag my free games in there. I've just scraped artwork for and I'm also going to go into the media folder and drag in that images folder. And if I go back into RetroBat now. So if I go into SNES. I've now got my games there with the customized artwork that I've just got from Scraper, which looks pretty cool. And if I back out and I go to Amiga, I've also got the artworks that are scraped from Scraper inside of here as well. 
So if we go back into Scraper, I'll show you how we can customize what it is we're downloading. If we go to the media type and we go to internal mix and go back to this section here, we can then change how we want these images downloaded. And again, it's just a process of just copying the images and putting them into the ROMs folder within Retrobat. So that's it from my scraper setup guide today. So in some cases, some people out there might not be able to download the artwork that you want, which Retrobat has built in through Screen Scraper. And this is where Scraper comes in handy. You can actually customize your artwork and download a multitude of different artworks for a single game, as you've seen in this video today. It's a really cool tool, but like I say, it takes a little while installing it initially. So if you like what you see in today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like, and also check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And also be sure to check out my entire playlist for RetroBat. Uh, links in my description for all of my RetroBat setups anyways. But until next time, stay retro.